So, welcome back um, to Beer Vlog. I have something extremely special today. Um, those of you who saw, and I'm sure you all did, you know, like 10 subscribers or something like that, um, in my little preview thing, um, <clears throat> you know what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I have a special beer and a, sort of a special night. It's a, slightly a downer night, uh, but happy to raise a glass. First, the beer. Sati. Dogfish head. Now check this out, man. Now, it's uh, <laughs> extremely special. So they, 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 uh, they do the, the, traditional, the traditional Finnish, uh, Finnish brewing style, uh, which is they take white hot river rocks and uh, boil them in a cook, uh, cook them over a wood fire and then dump them into the wort and caramelize the wort um, in the brewing process. Uh, and then they do their own special thing uh, after it. You know what? I they're In the sidebar, I yeah, which side the sidebar's on, um, there's like three videos I'm linking to uh, from Dogfish Head where they show you, they talk about the, the brew and they um, uh, and the brewing process and their inspiration for doing this. They have you play, show them like taking the rocks and putting them all in this you know, in a bucket, and putting it on a pitchfork, and trying to dump it into the wort. It's really cool. It's really neat, man. Uh, so uh, watch that after you see this. Um, anyway, nine uh, percent uh, ABV, um, and I think it's something like six IBUs. So I don't know. It's a, uh, then uh, some of the other things they're talking about. Um, uh, it's supposed to be uh, pretty spicy, uh, extremely special, very, very different. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this. Uh, of course, I uh, misplaced the bottle opener. Be right back. Let's get right to it. Um, I'm going to take my cue from the video and the glass. Uh, they don't talk about the glassware, but there's a guy pouring it. Uh, very similar, I mean, just a wide open mouth, rounded bottom. It was, I think his was, might have been slightly tooled or slightly raised or indented, but not much different. So, standard uh, round bottom nail glass, wide mouth. Smell the uh, it's extremely spicy, slightly hoppy, weedy. Uh, I believe this is used rye and stuff like that in here, too. Wow, let's give it a try. much of a head, but I don't think it gave it much of a pour either, so. Woo! It's definitely, I was trying to pinpoint the fruit, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and, it says right on the bottle, the juniper berries and other kinds of finished spices and a lot of stuff that I can't pinpoint. Um, mm, it smells very sweet and very effervescent. If you take a look at that. Man, I don't know if you can color. It's not very dark. Uh, it's more of a golden. It doesn't look like that on here, but it's a very golden color um, with a rose, like a rosy hue to it. Um, head dissipated quickly. Mm. You can smell the tea in the second. You know, coming at it again. I want to go ahead and uh, take a sip. It's almost um, very Christmassy it t to me. It tastes, it tastes like a really spicy um, yeah, Christmas brew. It's some warm. It's nine percent, but I'm not really getting much of an alcohol. No, it's a little bit there. It's really warming. 
Mm. It's really tasty. It doesn't quite taste. Uh, you can definitely taste the beer, but all the other stuff. I mean, this is the o- this is the only beer of this nature I've ever had. I don't have a whole lot I can compare this to, um, except that winter beer. It really reminds me of a, a nice winter beer. Mm. I'm not sure if it is winter beer, but it sure tastes like it. And some, you can taste the the other spices and like a coriander and I think there's cumin and stuff in here. Let's just warm up a bit. I'll let you know. Here's to you. It's definitely warmed up a bit. I'm trying to nail this one. Um, you know what it is? It's like the best um, iced tea you've ever had. Uh, except very spicy and flavored like beer. Now imagine that actually tastes really good, and that's how I'm trying to describe this beer. Um, not that you would ever mix iced tea and beer. I mean, I know you have shandies, and uh, I applaud people for trying to make shandies and thinking them. I think not my thing. This this is phenomenal, um, and uh, kudos to Dogfish Head for nailing it again. They just they just, they just do it. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, warmed up. Um, the mouth feels changed uh, a bit. Some of the edges going off the mouthfeel, and it's um, it feels slightly more tea-like, more so more more watery, but let still the same amount of flavor. Just uh, just rolls in quicker. A lot of the carbonation and the um, uh, the warmth the warmth from the alcohol uh, taste uh, that's gone. So uh, just go, it goes down a lot easier. Um, uh, but I definitely recommend it, and uh, it's an extremely limited, I believe it's a limited brew, so if you can find it, I know Dogfish Head, um, now they have a bigger distribu- distribution, but uh, I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure how much outside of the eastern seaboard you're going to be able to find this, or even down south, if you'll be able to find it, um, definitely look for it, it's worthwhile, and uh, just to be able to, to taste that, it's very, it's very earthy, very, very interesting, um, and I, rem- I, I do recommend it. Um, you want to give something a, a try. Uh, it's not typical at all. Never this is the first Finnish ride beer I've ever had, so you know, give it a try. So um, I totally forgot earlier um, about why I was going to raise the glass today. Um, I got distracted from other stuff. Uh, uh, two people uh, have gone from this world uh, who are pretty special. Uh, one, um, if you're not, unless you're my family, uh, you don't know him. Uh, his name's uh, Jack Mancini. He's possibly the most loving, uh, well-meaning man uh, I've ever known. Wonderful guy. Um, uh, so here's to him. Also, uh, today, hopefully I can uh, just edit this down really quick and get it out there tonight. Um, a legend has uh, passed from this world. Uh, not, without him, we would not have rock and roll. Uh, we would not have... Uh, Nearly the the wonderfulness of studio recording, um, uh, or or anything. Uh, to Mr. Les Paul, to you and Jack, here's to you.